this is how to upgrade your ceiling fans. So we have a lot of these older fans in our home and I wanted to upgrade them with, and not just get rid of them. So I asked my husband if he could figure out a way to attach a large lampshade onto the fans. And that's what he did for me. So he works with electrical stuff a lot for work and he's very handy and so I knew he'd be the one to approach if this was possible and he was able to do it quite easily and efficiently and it works great. We've done all four of the kids rooms and upgraded all their fans with different shades and each has a different unique look and this is how we did it. So first he took off the glass shades and the light bulbs and then he took off the main unit of the fan using just a simple screwdriver and turning it and pulling it down. Then he took apart the body of the fan that he that he has here even further by separating the bottom from the top and then he undid some electrical wire nuts and so they those two pieces would come completely apart. Once those two pieces were completely apart, he put them back together. And the reason why he did this is so that he could get a measurement on where to drill the holes for the lampshade. So he took the wires and he wrapped them up real tight and he was able to secure the top portion back onto the bottom portion so you're going to want to make sure that your lampshade is going to fit this piece and then you're going to want to make sure that you're marking it in accordance to the lampshade bars. So the lampshades I bought, they have three bars and this is why he's going to drill three holes. And he's just using the existing hole lineup as a guide because he just twisted it about an inch over so that he knows that they're even and then he used tin snips to cut up to these holes that he drilled next he got a pair of needle nose pliers and once he had cut up with the tin snips, he pulled some of the metal back, like folded it just ever so slightly so that the metal bars from the fan, uh, the light shade frame would be able to just slide up into this housing. Once he got that nice sec and secure and snug, then he used the needle nose pliers to then close the metal back onto where it went. And that serves to hold the lampshade frame in place. That and then this bottom part that we added back on. Your fan might not be exactly like ours, but Hopefully this gives you an idea of how this is possible. And then he put the fan pieces all back together, making sure, making sure to get the correct lines, electrical lines, met back up with each other. And then we put the shade on. So it might be slightly different if you're dealing with a different type of a lampshade. Like my daughter's for her bohemian chic, the whole thing was one unit, not multiple the whole lampshade was one unit, and so we had to put it together just as is. We weren't able to have the flexibility that this lampshade gave us of putting it all together before adding the shade itself. We just were able to add the frame, and then once we mounted it, we added the shade. So it just... A lot of this is going to depend on what you buy and what type of fan you have. But I will give a couple of tips here. You want something that is sturdy 
you want a fan shade that's large and you want one that has most importantly the cross piece where the three bars come together and there's that circle that needs to be at the top of whatever shade or fixture you choose If you have any questions, please leave them on my blog. I know this is a little bit more complicated than most of my tutorials because we are, in a sense, just jimmy-rigging something together. But it's worked really well for all four of our kids' fans. And we're planning to do it on the other three in the home. We've had no problem with functionality, and I really actually like the, the shade effect of the light on some of the rooms, and it's just worked out great. So if you want more information to get the supply list, check out livelikeyourrich.com and search how to upgrade your ceiling pans. Thanks.